A special thank you to each of our subscribers who make this channel possible. Here's today's story. On Sunday, many Cubans found themselves in a state of anguish as the island continued to grapple with widespread blackouts that have left much of the population in the dark for days on end. In Havana, Cuba's capital with a population of 2 million, some neighborhoods saw a flicker of hope with electricity restoration, yet most of the city remained shrouded in darkness. The ramifications of this blackout are far-reaching, affecting not just lighting but also essential services such as water supply, which relies on electricity to operate pumps. Many residents have resorted to cooking on makeshift wood stoves on the streets, desperately trying to salvage food that would otherwise spoil in their refrigerators. Eilinus de la Caridad Napoles, a mother of a seven-year-old girl, expressed her despair, stating, I am reaching a point of desperation. The power outage was triggered by the failure of the Antonio Guterres plant on Friday, which caused a total collapse of the island's electrical system. This incident marks yet another chapter in a series of ongoing issues surrounding energy distribution in Cuba, a country that has been enduring electricity restrictions and rotational outages for some time. On Sunday morning, long lines formed outside the few bakeries that managed to reopen, as residents waited for hours to purchase bread. Among them was Rosa Rodriguez, who has been without electricity for four days. We have millions of problems, and none of them are solved, she lamented. We must come to get bread because the local bakery is closed, and they bring it from somewhere else. The blackout began Thursday evening when roughly half of Cuba was plunged into darkness, escalating to a complete blackout by Friday morning following the plant's failure. While the Cuban government announced that some electricity had been restored, the output of 500 megawatts fell drastically to just 370 megawatts, far below the 3 gigawatts typically required to meet the island's needs. The government has not provided an official timeline for when power will be fully restored. Even for a nation accustomed to power outages as part of a broader economic crisis, Friday's blackout was unprecedented, being the worst in two years since Hurricane Ian wreaked havoc on power infrastructure in 2022. That storm resulted in extensive damage, and the recovery from it took days. This year alone, many homes have experienced daily outages lasting up to eight hours. As residents navigated the streets using phone flashlights during the blackouts, the government has implemented emergency measures aimed at reducing electricity demand. These measures include the suspension of school and university classes, the closure of certain state-owned enterprises, and the cancellation of non-essential services. Local authorities attributed the outages to increased electricity consumption from small and medium-sized businesses, as well as residential air conditioning units. The situation worsened further due to breakdowns in aging thermoelectric plants, which have suffered from a lack of proper maintenance, compounded by fuel shortages that have hindered operations. As the crisis deepens, the Cuban population is left grappling with the immediate and dire consequences of this energy disaster, hoping for a swift resolution to restore normalcy to their lives. That's all for this story. We upload videos every day covering many different subjects, so hit that subscribe button to stay informed. Thanks for watching.